Welcome to our class orientation on veterinary clinical pharmacology. The university envisions a quality and relevant education for its clientele to be globally competitive, culture sensitive, and morally responsive human resources for sustainable development. The university aims to help accelerate socioeconomic development, promote harmony among the diverse cultures, and improve quality of life through instruction, research, extension, and resource generation in Southern Philippines. So in this course, we are going to utilize two modes of learning. We have the asynchronous and the synchronous type of learning. So example of the asynchronous type of learning is watching our pre-recorded lecture, videos, or lessons. These are the teaching and learning activities that we are going to utilize. We have the Google Meet, USM VLE, YouTube, Facebook, and Messenger. The USM VLE 4.0, so for the VLE, it stands for the Virtual Learning Environment, and students need an institutional email or the USM Gmail account for you to be able to enter this platform. So again, in YouTube, we have our official channel, Pinoy Vet Akads, and this channel will be the site where all our lecture, our video presentations will be uploaded. You can also like and follow our FB page, Pinoy Vet Akads, to be updated with our lessons, announcements, and some useful information about the course. In Messenger, we also have our group chat. You need to be a member of this GC for you to be informed regularly about some important announcements about the course and to communicate with your instructor. For our course number, so this is Vet Pharma 322, and the descriptive title is Veterinary Clinical Pharmacology. The course has a credit unit of four. The lecture has three units. Three hours will be intended for lecture per week. The laboratory has three units. Three hours will be intended for laboratory per week. For DVMA, so we are going to meet you know, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7 to 8 a.m. for the lecture. Uh, this is in VMA, you now VMNX4. And for the lab, uh, this is every Tuesday, uh, Thursday, 2 to 5 p.m. at VM16. DVMB. So we are going to meet every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 2 to 3 p.m. for the lecture at VM Annex 2. And for the laboratory, we are going to meet at 9 to 12 p.m. No, every uh, for the Friday at VM 17. So there can be changes along the way you know, as we go along the course. The course description. So this course aims to provide students with knowledge and understanding of clinical pharmacology and therapeutics. It shall discuss the principles of PD and PK that are essential for therapeutics and safe selection of therapeutic agents in the clinical veterinary practice. It shall also discuss the properties, the clinical indications, and the adverse effects of these agents. At the end of the course, students should be able to describe the basic terminologies, concepts, principles, and applications of veterinary clinical pharmacology as well as relate with the latest advancements in the field. Identify and describe the classification, properties, and indications of the major therapeutic agents in clinical veterinary practice. Understand the principles of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics for the prudent use and selection of therapeutic agents for clinical veterinary practice. Assess appropriate drug selection for different animal species. And select, formulate, and recommend treatment plans for the control and treatment of diseases in clinical veterinary practice. Course outline. So we are going to start our lecture with the autocoids. So the autocoids is, are classified under the drugs acting on the autonomic nervous system. The next part will be the drugs acting on the different body systems and we'll start with the cardiovascular system, the respiratory system, the urogenital system, and the skin and the mucous membranes. Next part of our lecture will be the drugs under the uh, chemotherapeutic agents. So we'll start with the introduction. Then uh, we are also going to discuss about the problems with the use of antibiotics, uh, super infection, 
the factors in the selection of the antimicrobials, the different antibacterial agents. Uh, so we also have to discuss about the antifungal, antiviral, as well as the uh, antiseptics and disinfectants. The antiprotozoal drugs, so this is included under the um, antiparasitic drugs and the ectoparasiticides. Evaluation, so the university grading system shall be adapted where the term grade shall constitute 33% of the grade for the pieces and long exams, 70% for the term exams. The final grade shall constitute 33% of the midterm grade, 67% for the final term grade. Passing percentage in any exams is about 5%. Evaluation of the student's performance will be based on the results of the quizzes, one hour, midterm, final exams, and requirements, if any. Here are references for the course. So we have the uh, synopsis of veterinary pharmacology and toxicology by Bani Prasad and Kali. We also have the essentials of veterinary pharmacology and therapeutics by Sandy. Also read uh, the veterinary pharmacology and therapeutics uh, by Adams.